Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Sleepy Penguin Entertainment. And I've realized the part of my journey on trying to get better on EA Sports UFC 5, like my you know, video from a few days ago with Israel Adesanya, I was just going to be uploading general ramp gameplay. So as you can see, we're in Division 15. And it's not too bad, it's not too good. It's middle of the road. You know, it's not where we want to be realistically. We want to be the upper echelons of the world, but we can't be there yet, I guess. I don't know. Maybe we will be soon though, so we're going to get in some fights with the Notorious, maybe one or two. Um, especially this um, this new uh, Carlos Condit alter ego, be a pretty good matchup. Um, I like using Connor at welterweight, he feels different to the other welterweights. Ooh, nice spin right off the bat by this Condit, but we do hit him back with a spin of our own. He's spinned in the land, so we're on up on that one, I guess. Nice shots there now, but we get rocked. Hit big to the body, swings to the body again, but we do get ourselves out there, so no real damage done. Nice shots though, and he seems to be a bit wild, so I'm hoping that if this Condit wants to be a bit wild, then we can land big stuff like that. We can be a little bit wild ourselves but in a more calculated way you know i think calculated chaos is the best way to play this game and it's slightly why i maybe think i've improved over the last few weeks let's say it's not been that long but yeah calculated chaos like stepping out of range there he steps in gets hit with the uppercut and if he wants to spin our body like that we're just going to sidestep it that is a disaster strike to throw against someone who's going to sidestep it because it leaves you very very vulnerable for a big big shot a shot that's going to end up getting you really really hurt throws it there again and i'm okay with this i'm okay with him thinking that he can safely rely on that shot because i know that is not the case and when that's not the, well it sounded very conor mcgregory didn't it i know that is not the case and when he does step into that range he will get clattered um all joking aside guys when he does step into range he's going to get clattered he's going to get hit really really hard he's going to get knocked down and it's going to be the kill shot for us so i'm hoping that he'll feel comfortable to throw that a few more times especially seeing as he's landed a nice overhand there by him we just got to shell up and hope not to take any damage um he's a bit mm, over extravagant with his striking combinations his boxing's a bit wild i'm trying to be more precise all i'm not really being that that spin there it gets him whacked so that is one one nil to us we do get him there nice body shots following up the uppercut that rocked him rocks us back i don't get why that rocks i feel like there's a an equalization thing in this game that when you get rocked you almost automatically rock your opponent back so i don't feel like that shot should have done damage did he tries to trade with us we just cover up we don't need to be taking damage we've hurt him significantly in my opinion more than he's hurt us you can see especially that by the cut to his eyes so everything going well here and how we would want it to go a nice dig to the body again just in case we we need to play the long game that spin again gets him hurt we land the combo there nothing behind it he may survive this round he may not i'm not quite sure yet nice kick to the body there nice oh very nice kick to the body that time hook kick up top nothing doing that hook hurts him again and a final uppercut sits him down for the win so yeah it was that shot in the end that spin to the body that got him hurt i might do a video on that during the week I'm not fully sure yet, I think there may be one coming, but straight into this next fight we're going to fight now, as you can see a Leon Edwards player, so still Walter White to Vision O'Connor, we'll take this, we'll try to build, nice shot there as he tries to move out of range, nice straight left hand, I like that shot with Connor. it's very very accurate, very very, you know, damaging, nice shot to the body by this Leon player to be honest, go for the uppercut, nothing doing there, but get our head off the centre line, land a nice hook, he's looking to load up an uppercut, we're not going to have any of that, Ooh, nice hook by him there though good shot to the body trading a little bit too much now we want to try to push him back like we did with the carlos conda player but nah, that's okay you know sometimes you do got to get into a little bit of a gunfight with people and this is what he seems to want to do i do believe we may have the boxing edge only and i don't think we have the kick boxing edge so the fact that when i say that he starts to plant kicks and a nice kick up top shouldn't hit us there should never really hit us there but as he um as he looks to do this I feel like he may have an advantage in the kickboxing but straight hand to hand straight boxing i feel like we're going to be able to pick him apart and hopefully nice spinning hook kick. actually that's the handstand uh cartwheel kick isn't it it's called something like that i forgot what it's called elbow there as he stoops low to go to our body maybe should have done a little bit more maybe should have done a little bit more damage but we're okay in that situation two short straight lefts really nice pop on them sending his head backwards he's looking for that uppercut and we're just going to step out of range see what he wants to throw he's looking to throw a kick in range i wonder if he's setting all this up to go for a head kick that would seem like the most logical thing at the moment he's throwing up the middle um 
possibly making us you know think that he wants us to duck to the left or the right so he can hit us with a head kick that'd be a good strategy with leon i think that would be a, a nice thing to do so we're just going to be wary of that and maybe eventually when he does let the head kick go we can be ready for a nice hook there roxas front kick up the middle again i think it's another one to set us up really good four or five piece combo there almost good striking by him but we're okay once we keep landing that big straight left there stinging him with it again we should be okay front kick up the middle again i'm starting to think i should be ducking now maybe to the side so we got to be careful we're going to see what he wants to do there it is there's that shot i was thinking of really rocks and bad get the uppercut behind i thought i'd have to finish up with more but i didn't i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please consider subscribing drop it a like and i'll